So, I don't know if it's just me or if other people are feeling the same thing that I'm feeling, but it's feeling like something is like coming at you, like something is constantly coming against you and everything that you're doing, you know, like you and your relationships, you and your your friends, like people that you're supposed to be together with, you know, that's destined by God, maybe a business partner or a, um, a man or woman that God has, you know, destined you to be together with because that's going to be your husband or your wife. But it seems like all hell is breaking loose, you know, like something is constantly coming at you, like something is constantly interfering, like something is constantly trying to just keep y'all apart. And not making it easy <laughs> for you to just, you know, stay together. Um, that's because that's the enemy. The enemy already knows that God has put the two of you together. That God has joined you all together. That God has something more than you can see that he wants the two of you to do together, you know, as a couple. So don't, don't take it lightly, you know. Don't think that it's just your imagination. Don't think that it's just some ordinary, some regular relationship that you're in. Because it's not. Because Satan, he doesn't care if you're just in a normal relationship. You know, something that you put together. Something that you connected together on your own. You know, Satan come after people who's been put together and, you know, is destined by God. So if God has put you and your partner together, you know, it was a divine connection. It was orchestrated by God and only God. All hell is going to come at you. Satan, he doesn't like that because he knows that the two of you, when the two of you get married, that you are going to do things for God. You know, you got to do things here on earth for God so he can get the glory. Yeah, so God can get the glory. Because God is not just joining the two of you together just so y'all can have sex. You know, just make love all the time and, you know, just please yourselves. But that's a good thing. <laughs> but that's not what he's doing it for. You know, yeah, you're going to get some pleasure out of it too. But God is going to get the glory. And you're going to be doing this so God can get the glory. So the two of you being together as one couple is all about God getting the glory, y'all. So people can't say that they put y'all together. Only God did this. And everybody be able to acknowledge God as doing it. So that's spiritual warfare. Yeah, spiritual warfare in heavenly places. So just don't take it lightly. Because I was like feeling some kind of funky way today, you know. Feeling, you know, a little funky myself. You know, like what in the world is going on? I just don't feel, I just feel like, you know, kind of down. And I didn't know why. I have no reason to feel down. And then the Holy Spirit quickened my spirit like spiritual warfare. That's what the enemy... That's what the enemy does. He, this is nothing new to him. This is stuff he's been doing. You know, stuff he's been doing. And you just can't, you can't just let yourself get caught up in that. Once you feel that coming on, get in the word of God. Study that word of God. Look, in Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 6, 12 verse. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age against spiritual host of wickedness in the heavenly places. And verse 13 says, Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, verse 14, stand therefore, having girded your waist with the truth, with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with preparation of the gospel of peace. Verse 16. Above all, taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the, of the wicked one. Verse 17. And take the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Verse 18. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Yeah. So, it's 
not flesh and blood we're fighting against, y'all. It's evilness, wickedness that rules this earth. The principalities is darkness in heavenly places. It's Satan in the atmosphere. You know, Satan, he's just lingering and hanging around, trying to do everything he can, throwing all type of stuff at y'all. You know, trying to, trying to separate you. You know, that's Satan. It's not people. It's not, like, it's, it's not flesh and blood. It's principalities, darkness, evilness, wickedness that rules this earth. So, the Holy Spirit quickened my spirit with that. Like, Janae, you need to get up. Because I was like, man, I'm not going to make no video today. I'm going to just chill. It's raining. I'm going to just chill. I'm going to stay in the bed. Chill. All day. <laughs> but the Holy Spirit quickened my spirit. was like, no, uh-uh. Put this. I, I, he gave me a word. And that was this word. Get on and make a video and tell other people. Because they might be feeling the same thing you're feeling right now. And they don't know what what's going on. You know? And if they just sit in it and wallow in it, it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger in the imagination, you know, in the mind, in the heart. You know, so you got to get in that word. Study that word to show yourself approval of God. Yeah, because the enemy, he already know your future. He already know your destiny. He already know that your, your life is destined by God. He already knows this. Because he see, let him, he see just like Job in the Bible. You know, remember when, when Satan said, told God, um, Job, Job loves you, and he'll never curse you. He'll always be faithful to you. I'm not saying it verbatim, but he'll always be faithful to you, God. He'll never leave you, you know, because you always blessing him. You're always blessing him. You're there for him all the time. And so God was like, just try my servant Job, you know. Just don't kill him. I'll let you do whatever to him. Just don't kill him. And so Satan... He saw Job had a prosperous life, a blessed life. Just like he seen Job, he see ours as well. Satan see our life as well. He already sees the man or the woman that God has for you. And now you, you, you've met that person. Now y'all together, y'all engaged, or y'all trying to get engaged. You know, y'all are trying to get to know each other so y'all can get engaged because y'all finally, finally met. God finally, you know, connected y'all. So now the enemy is around trying to separate y'all. He's trying to tear that relationship up before it gets started because he already know the calling that God has on two of your lives. You know, especially he who finds the wife, find, um, I, he who finds the wife finds what is good and obtains favor from the Lord. Yeah. He who finds the wife finds what is good and obtains favor from the Lord. That's the scripture. So Satan already know that you got favor, from, that the man gonna have favor from the Lord. Because he found you. He found you as a, as a wife to be. So don't let the enemy come in and, and tear it up before it even gets started. You know, Don't let him separate y'all before y'all even get linked up as one flesh. You know, Before y'all get connected in union and wed, you know, union, one flesh. Yeah. Because that's what the enemy, that's what he does. He likes to separate, destroy, you know, destruction. Always chaos and confusion. That's what the enemy does. It's nothing new. He's been doing this. So you got to stay in that word. Get in that word of God. Get with other believers. Get with people that's believing in the same thing, you know, the word of God. So y'all can help edify and build each other up in that word. Yeah, get with other believers. Um, If you don't have nobody that you, you can get with, look at some videos on TV. Look at some YouTube videos, ministry videos. Um, Full of that word and get that word in your spirit. You know, listen to some podcasts so you can edify and build yourself up with the word of God. Because the enemy, he already knows that God has something mighty for the two of you when you become one. Yeah, when, he, when you become one. Now the enemy, yeah, the enemy will come and he may delay some stuff. He may delay it, slow it down. You know, you plan on it happening this, this time, like right then. And then the enemy, he may throw a monkey wrench in it. And so it's not going to happen right then. But it's, that don't mean it's not going to happen. You know, because... Everything work out for the good of those who love the Lord. Whatever the enemy means for harm, God will work it out for your good. Yeah. Um, it's a time of the season for everything under the sun. Oh, yeah. So just be encouraged. Be encouraged. Get in that word, y'all. Put on some praise and worship music. Yeah, put, let him get in the atmosphere. Sing praise and worship music, even if you don't feel like it. Because I didn't feel like it because it's raining. I was going to stay in my night clothes, you know, and just chill out, stay in the bed, and wasn't going to do nothing. <laughs> but I'm dressed, you know, because the Holy Spirit had to quicken my spirit. And it's like, Danelle, no, uh-uh. 
No, don't get, no, 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 shake that off. So, I pray this is a blessing to you. I pray it was a blessing to you because it was a blessing to me. So, if you want to be saved and um, you've been sinning, or if you're a Christian, you know, and you done backslid, I'm going to say the prayer of salvation, and you can repeat it after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of my sins. Known, unknown, thought, deed, and word. I believe you died and rose from the dead. I ask you to come into my heart and my life. And I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Yeah. So welcome, welcome, welcome to the family. So now you just got to make sure you get baptized. Get into a faith-based Bible reading. Yeah, so you can follow along in the Bible. Bible reading, Holy Ghost Spirit for your church. And if you don't have one, if you know people who go to church and you know they're full of the Holy Spirit, you know the Lord is with them. And you know, and you can feel it because God gives us discernment, you know. You can go visit their church. Yeah, so you can get fully baptized. So when you get baptized and go submerged under that water, the old things can die, the old man, the old way of thinking, the old way of living, believing, acting, walking, talking. Yeah, it can die under that water. When you're raised about that water, you're a new creation in Christ. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Yeah, so make sure you get baptized. Check out my podcast, y'all. And um, so you can listen to it in your, with your earbuds, in your car, on your radio. While you're cutting the lawn, you know, pushing your baby in a stroller, walking, exercising, just riding your bike, whatever. Getting that word in your spirit to edify and build yourself up in the word of God. And also, click like, share, and subscribe. Like, 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 share, 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 subscribe on my YouTube channel. So you can spread this word so people can get it. People need it, you know. Just like the Holy Spirit quickened my spirit with this word to share with y'all. Share this word with many, y'all, so they can get this word as well. So, if you need prayer requests... I'm going to put up my Gmail link and you can reach out to me and I will pray for you in the spirit so the Holy Spirit can intercede on your behalf. Until the Holy Spirit quicken my spirit with something else, many blessings to you and your family. May the Lord bless you, keep you, make his face shine upon you, be gracious unto you, and give you peace. In Jesus' name, y'all. So, Lord, I just thank you. Be a people that either here in the heart to receive this word, whoever it's for. Let it fall on good ground, Father, in Jesus' name. Anything that's not of you, I rebuke it in Jesus' name. And burn down any evil altar and wickedness by your judgment fire, Lord God. And welcome to the Holy Spirit to fill this place. So, until the Holy Spirit quickens my spirit with something else, y'all. Blessings on top of blessings to you and your families.